one minute, one minute, one minute, and then it comes out and it looks super cool. All right, so obviously it's 2021. And while we're in what we can only hope is the tail end of the pandemic, the world is still pretty weird, honestly. Microsoft finally killed off Internet Explorer, who was still convinced at the time of its death that there was a world record egg sweeping the World Wide Web. New trucks are almost impossible to come by because both General Motors and Ford have essentially all but halted production on brand new pickup trucks. And of course, who could forget all of the supply chain shortages from things like microchips to coffee to chicken wings. It's, it's a tragedy. But despite all the weirdness that may exist, life goes on. And part of that life is the fact that if you guys are anything like me, you still wanna build your truck. Specifically here, we're talking diesel pickups, right? But there are regulations when it comes to building a truck in 2021. So how do you navigate those? How do you know what's legal and what's not? Good news is here, I'm Dustin with the Custom Offsets. You guys can find me on the old Instagram at dusty.co and today's video is all about how to build your diesel truck legally here in 2021. As we're turning up the horsepower and letting the engine run free here, we gotta remind you guys that if you're looking for things like bolt-on performance parts for your truck, like intakes and exhausts and tuners and gauges and fuel pumps and digital monitoring systems, all sorts of good stuff, we have all that over at customoffsets.com. Also, if you need a great way to like waste your lunch break because you're tired of talking to your coworkers. I've got some cheese you might like too, in between my toes. I have good news for you. Our gallery is filled with like 100,000 different trucks running all sorts of setups from mild to wild. You can check all of that out by clicking the link in the description or just heading to customostits.com forward slash gallery. Before we can even talk about how to build your truck, we got to talk about what rules and regulations are in place and who is the big bad bully that put them there to begin with. Unless you've been living under a rock like Patrick Starr the last few years, then you're already familiar with the EPA or the Environmental Protection Agency. The EPA was founded way back in 1970 when I wasn't even a twinkle in my mother's eye and really exists to preserve the environment and protect it from, you know, things that are maybe potentially harmful like contaminants and toxic waste and things like that. While we don't need to go into a lot of detail about the entire history of the EPA because we've done that like 15 <laughs> times already, it is important to note here that the EPA does actually do some really good stuff, including, but not limited to, Things like cleaning up toxic waste and working to keep our environment clean. Oftentimes in discussions like this about building a diesel truck, the EPA can get a bad name. And I wanna make sure that today we don't do that here. We're not, we're not gonna do that. While your opinions of the EPA can be your own, it is undeniable that the EPA has made some positive strides in terms of, you know, taking care of the good old environment. It keeps like the little deer happy and the birds tweeting and stuff, you know. With that being said though, the EPA can be a bit of a hot button topic if you own a diesel in 2021. In case you guys are unfamiliar with it, the EPA mandated in 2008 that all brand new diesel vehicles begin reducing emissions by installing various emissions technologies, including diesel particulate filters or DPFs for short and or selective catalyst reduction or SCR. Now, we're not gonna go into all that. We made a whole nother video on it about, about DAF and all that good stuff. You can check all that out. Just go, they can link it below, it's fine. But with every new rule that's made, there's always one rule breaker who's bound to break it. This isn't new by any means. I mean, think back to when you were a kid on the school playground and the teacher's aide told you not to play in the water puddle. What was the only thing that you wanted to do on recess every single day and you tried to get away with it, you know, and pray that the teacher wasn't looking? You wanted to play in the water. Because of this, the EPA began cracking down on companies that manufactured and sold emissions removal or tampering devices. Several companies faced lawsuits upwards of several hundreds of thousands of dollars for knowingly selling these products to customers who are going to use them for on-road applications. Again, legal for off-road applications, not legal for operation on a highway. Perhaps the most well-known instance of this was when the EPA issued a lawsuit against the world-renowned Diesel Brothers for almost a million dollars due to violations of the Clean Air Act. While there are several initiatives to combat the crackdown from the EPA, such as the RPM Act that was introduced by SEMA, at the time of filming this video, there's been no major changes to the regulations regarding building your diesel. Never fear though, there are still great ways to build your truck, get more performance and still be legal, even if you live in a carb compliant state like California in the year 2021. The biggest thing you're gonna be looking for here is a carb EO number. This 
EO, or Executive Order, is a number assigned by the California Air Resources Board, otherwise known as CARB for short. It indicates that the performance part that you're looking at is legal for California emissions and thus gives you pretty much a free pass to install this on your truck without the fear of getting your hand slapped by the old 5 -0. Oftentimes these EO numbers are gonna be found either stamped or etched into the individual parts themselves, meaning that there's no room for error if there are any questions in case you get like pulled over or something. I know when Banker and I installed my MBRP downpipe on the Duramax, the EO number was actually on this handy little plate thing that like sat right on the edge of it and it was all cut out with the, the heat wrap and stuff. It looked really cool. Uh, and it still looks pretty cool. In terms of parts that are available for your truck with these CARB EO numbers, it really depends on the truck and the company that's manufacturing the parts. While some companies like MBRP offer some EO numbers on their products, not every product is going to come with that stamp because not every product is going to be 50 state legal. Furthermore, it gets even more complex when you start looking at things like tuners, for example, as these products actually alter the performance of your engine. Never fear though, there are a ton of companies out there with EO certification numbers, including companies and big names like MBRP, FAST, AFE, Volant, and a ton more. For best results, we recommend taking a look for that CARB EO number when you're shopping for parts, and when in doubt, check the manufacturer's website to be certain if the product you're looking for is actually going to be emissions compliant in your state. One company that's always been a solid bet when it comes to carb compliance is the one and only Gale Banks Engineering. Now listen, listen, I know that we've talked about Banks Engineering a lot here, but there's a good reason for that. A large majority of Banks products are produced right here in the good old US of A at their California campus, which by itself is pretty awesome. Even cooler yet, all of their products are CARB EO certified, literally every one of their products, meaning that every single one of them is legal in all 50 states, including California. If you live there, I'm sorry, you can still buy their products and you'll be okay. We're talking things like tuners, exhaust, intakes, all of it. It's all Cali legal, meaning that you can build your truck and not worry about dealing with the good old DOT hassling you if they see you on the highway. Not only does Banks Power have EO numbers for virtually every product they offer, but they also have tons of research and development into each of the products, meaning that you're gonna get performance for your money. You're not just buying tubes. You're not, it's not just like a piece of metal pipe. They even go so far as to test their products against every other one on the market, meaning that if you're buying Banks Power, you know you're getting quality. Recently, I was lucky enough to tour the entirety of the Banks Power campus over at the outskirts of LA. And let me tell you, it's a pretty cool place. From the machine shop to the chassis dyno, and of course, who can forget the engine shop of Banks Technologies, the whole place is really freaking awesome, honestly. It's quite a sight to see. What do you guys think? Have you installed any carb legal parts on your truck? Sound off in the comment section below, and as always, be sure to like the video, share it with a friend maybe, you know, who might be interested in learning more about this kind of thing. And with that, I'm Dustin with the Custom Offsets. We'll see you guys on the next one.